Hello, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. So, let's start making some shared designs. We're gonna start in um, 1918, I think. I'm guessing that will be a year that uh, the AI builds its ships from when we start in uh, in 1920. So let's start with a uh, German battle. Actually, let's see what we can do with this. Uh, heavy cruiser now with the naval arms race mod if it's any easier to build anything um, decent on this hull actually let's see what the AI does first and just take it as a starting point. Very little weight offset. That's good. Kind of wonky funnel setup. 8.2 inch guns. I mean, it's not bad. Uh, kind of a uniform 6 inch uh, belt and deck and superstructure. So yeah, the whole ship is made out of six inch plate. I don't hate it. This is not a terrible ship. It's got underwater torpedoes. All right. Let's build it from uh, from scratch. There we go. Got all the base values. Uh, for speed, can we do 32 knots? I think we can. Still got the uh, the New Horizons um, graphics thing. There we go. No weight offset. Put two of these here. Still no weight offset. So that's uh, that's quite nice. With the naval arms race mod. We're gonna go corrupt cemented. Now, are we gonna go all out with 11 inch guns or stick to something a little bit more reasonable? I think 9 inch guns will work fine. with 9 inch doubles. Can we do... Uh, yeah. We can do it like that. This is very nice. It's got a pretty big like fantail back here. Can this fit down here or do we have to yeah go with a slightly smaller rear tower yeah I'm thinking that looks a bit better and maybe like put this up here Would be nice if we could uh, fit two of those. I 
Maybe like this. Just kind of filling in. Secondary guns. Yeah, we can do some... Um... Okay, yeah, no, that will not work. That will not work. Not like that. But maybe like this. Yeah, that works. Or do we go with uh, three inch guns instead? I'm gonna go with doubles because it just looks a bit better. And one down here. Four weight offset is basically not an issue. That is. I can't overstate how nice that is. You get so much more freedom to build a ship that doesn't look like a complete abomination. And that's still quite decent. It's quite heavy uh, barbette thing. Might have to go down on the, uh, the barbette protection if... Um, I can still get the flash fire chance down. By using two powder and TNT2. How much weight do we save? Just under 11,000. Yeah, we don't save a lot of weight by doing that. We do save uh, not that much by going with Citadel 3. We can save a bit by reducing bulkheads. Save a bit by going anti torp 2. Reinforced bulkheads 1. Coincidence 4. Now let's see about armor. I like to have a pretty decent main belt. Because as far as I know, the main belt uh, covers the extent of the, uh, the citadel. And then you have the citadel armor in addition to that. Deck armor on a 1918 cruiser I don't think it needs to be super uh, thick. By the way, HE pen in this mod has been reduced. And also fire chance has been reduced. So you, you don't need like insane armor all over the entire ship to prevent it from burning to uh, to death by HE spam. Oh, crew training veterans. No, no, no. It's a campaign ship. It's a crew quarters that I need. And that broke the camel's back. Let's go down on speed. Let's add a little bit of splinter protection on the inner deck. Turret armor is very, very thick. It don't need to be. It's not a battleship. Well, that saved some weight. Brought the four weight offset back, uh, but it's it's manageable. Kind of 
Can I armor up the three inch guns? Nope, I cannot. Let's add some. Uh, can these two inch guns fit anywhere? Like on the tower. How about one inch, uh, one barrel? No. Nope. Okay, one barrels can fit. Can three inch single barrels fit? I wonder. Uh, they're quite big. Nope. Yeah, overall, not bad. If I move this in, can I place a torpedo launcher here, or will that... Ah, no, uh, no deck launchers. Very well then. I want to have this like as close to that as possible because I just think it looks better. As a bonus, that means this turret can rotate fully. I still have some weight to play with. Casemates. Go a little bit higher on the uh, on the main deck. A little bit higher on the main belt. Bring the aft belt up a bit just to balance it out. Uh, ship is overweight. Yeah, that's good enough. That's good enough. Kaiserin Augusta is the for shared design. Not a bad looking ship. Finally able to build something that looks decent on this hull while keeping it you know, not useless. And that can be our thumbnail. Save the sign, gotta remember to do that. So that's our cruiser done. Let's go with the battleship. It's going to be kind of like that lost battleship I made that I forgot to save. Now, main guns. We're in 1918. We get the Mark II 14 or the Mark III 13. Hmm. kind of accuracy are we looking at at 10,000 meters 1.7 2.2 might just go with the 13 oh actually we're going to go with the uh, with the 14 Reload time, 70 seconds. But with enhanced reload, 
tube powder. Let's go soft cap on the HE. Looking at 59.9 seconds. One minute reload. But if this had um, a veteran crew, 41.7 seconds. Now again, with um, naval arms race, you don't get a, um, a weight reduction from armor. Now speed, 23 knots. That's decent. We're kind of like an early uh, dreadnought. Gonna need some barbette, gonna need some anti torp. We are overweight, so I have to see what can be reduced. RDF. Oh, I forgot that on the cruiser. That's. it's okay. I don't think the AI benefits much from RDF anyway. 9.7 flash fire chance. Now, if I went back and actually went with the 13 inch guns, regular crew. Uh, 20,000, 1.1, 1 .1. 0.7. Yeah, we're gonna go with 13s. So, Mark three still quite superior to, uh, to Mark two. 22,000 kilometer range, that is uh, still decent. Reduce the speed a bit. Now let's look at the armor. 18 inches of turret armor. That's a little bit excessive, don't you think? Seven inch top armor, that's a bit much for 1918. Now, 15 on the main belt, 4 on the fore and aft, uh, let's go 4 on the main deck, 2 on the fore and aft, 2 on the superstructure, I think we're looking at a pretty decent ship here. Baden. Uh, we're gonna need some uh, some secondaries and some casemates. Let's go with five inch. We are now overweight again. These casemates have quite a bit of armor. Seven inch top armor. That is excessive. Ten kilometer range. Dunite. No, no, no. TNT2. That brings the flash fire chance down. Mm. 
Now, what to reduce? Actually, gonna need a couple more secondaries. Just making sure they don't block. It kind of looks like these have been uh, retrofitted after the ship was built because they look a little bit more modern, but that's okay. They are, as far as I know about these guns, they are deck mounts, so they don't have a barbette or anything extending under the deck. Yeah, no barbette. But they should have a little bit of armor. How much can they have? 1.6. 1. Now let's go about reducing this, uh, this weight that our ship has put on. Auxiliary 2. Doesn't change much. and four. Ox three is actually lighter. Okay. Mm. Anti-torp two, that saved quite a bit. Reinforced bulkheads one, that saved another bit. If I go down to 1.5 on the 4.5 decks, that does save a little bit more. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, there we go. I think that's okay. Save the sign. Okay, so next up is our Battlecruiser 5. They are kind of doing what we've already done in vanilla, just in, in the mod. What's the um, optimal speed? 29.4. 29.4 it is. Secondary tower. Again, I'm gonna go with uh, this one. I think. Or am I gonna go with this chonky one? Maybe so. Uh, let's go with 13s again. 13 triples. And my favorite, Hyper Funnel. See, that saved quite a bit of weight. That saved some more weight. Engine efficiency is not optimal. That's a little bit better. If I then slink it down a bit to minus two, I've got a very long ship. Let's go back to what we had, which is this. Give 
keep it a simple for uh, is that mm, almost it's a bit shorter and fatter than the other funnels well it is in itself taller but it's not mounted on the tower That brings the engine efficiency up. That brings the range up. And we now have 10,000 tons to play with. Let's see how quickly uh, we can spend that. Anti Torp 2, because it's a battle cruiser, not a battleship. There we go. Overweight already. We can see how that can be fixed. There are plenty of ways to fix that. For example, we can reduce uh, the uh, excessive armor on the turrets. I have a little bit less deck armor than on the battleship. But I want to have a decent uh, main belt. Maybe not quite that decent. That's okay. Four and a half belts. Hmm. It's a very, very long ship. And most of this long uh, nose is not covered by the main belt. So that's going to be a bit of a problem for it. What fire chance is 3.1. Are gonna go down to doubles? No, let's keep them triples. There's another battle cruiser hull we can build on to make uh, one with doubles instead. Yeah, these are fifties. These are uh, decent guns. can go a little bit down on bulkheads. If I increase the beam back up, that will increase the uh, displacement, but it will also increase the engine weight. We don't have any secondaries. I want to add some 4 inch guns. You do, by the way, have. Um, well, I don't have to research here. I'm not sure exactly when you get it, but you do have scouting planes in this mod. 
they're not actually visible in the battle flying around, but they do give you bonuses to long range accuracy and uh, spotting submarines and such. Mm. I think that's decent. It kind of needs to have good range. Being a battlecruiser needs to be able to cruise. I'm not sure if I want to compromise any more on survivability, so uh, I guess that's it. I guess that is the Oldenburg. Now let's build something on this battlecruiser hull. This is going to be the... Um, Prinz Eitel Friedrich. And it's going to be kind of similar, but with doubles instead of triples as main guns. Still want to have this tower though. Double thirteens. Perfectly balanced. Add some shaft, add some uh, steering, add some Krupp cemented armor. Anti flood and citadel. Standard ratio, standard ratio. I like my capitalistic HE so it can pen DDs and maybe some light cruisers. There we go, that's that taken care of. Turret armor is again quite excessive. Let's go 1.5 on the fore and aft decks. 1.5 on the superstructure. Kind of a 4 on the fore and aft belts. And maybe 15 on the main belt. So it's actually going to be better protected than uh, its bigger sister. At least by a little bit. Alright, that doesn't leave me with any weight left over. How about going down to Anti-Torp 2? Save it a little bit. So we can actually put some casemates on this. Add the anti-aircraft guns first. Kind of where can they fit? A little bit overhanging the uh, the side. That's okay. As for casemates, uh, this is gonna break the uh, break the bank, so to speak, by about a thousand tons. But their armor can be much reduced. So we are 600 ton tons over. Remove those two and these. 
300 tons. Remove that one too. Right, let's go down to 14. On I didn't even save that much. Only about a hundred tons. You know what? Let's go down to Citadel three. And we can now add these back. Citadel three in nineteen eighteen is it's not terrible. Can it have more range? No. But 20,000? That's decent. Nothing wrong with that. Let's save the sign. Let's go on to the light cruiser. Light cruiser 5. Might also do the scout cruiser. Not gonna bother with the like semi armored antiques <clears throat> and um, I found the AI does a decent job of designing uh, destroyers. Let's see what the AI does with the light cruiser first. You know, uh, this is decent. Uh, this is actually very decent. There's a bit of a uh, fire hose. Not that much armor. Let's not save it. Let's just uh, build from scratch. Thirty-one knots, max optimal speed. It's gonna need range. Will not need uh, any crew training because it's for the campaign. It's gonna need a decent tower if it is to uh, scout anything. No, you don't fit a tower back there. Fine, let's put it up here. Add the two funnels here. If we then add oil and gear turbines. We have engine efficiency, we have range. Let's add this barbette. Let's add some six inch guns. Let's add some torpedoes. And let's add the rest of the ship. Again, I like the Auxiliary 3 because it gives you more uh, fuel efficiency. Which you don't get from uh, 1 and 2. Prep cemented. And the barbette. Citadel 3. We've got lots of displacement left. So, the uh, dilemma here is um, like which ammo type to use on which targets. You could either go with 
cap ballistic for both, so the HE will penetrate DDs and do big damage. And this might penetrate larger cruisers for damage. Or have the AP be able to penetrate destroyers and such. Again, for pretty big damage. And use the HE to set everything else on fire. But I think... Yeah, the fire thing has been uh, been nerfed in this mod. So I might just go with that. Uh, torpedoes can be as big as 20 inch. 9.5 kilometer range, that is decent. Enhanced reloading. Uh, need the turrets to be kind of quick turning. Coincidence. RDF. Hydro. Mine things. Uh, death charges. Not going to bother with the mines. Turret armor is uh, 6 inches. 3 on the top. Main belt. 5.4 is the maximum. Let's go with uh, 5. It's This is very decent armor for a uh, light cruiser. And we still have the displacement to spare. How long are these? 45s? Let's push that up to 50. 50. Yeah, I'm actually liking this ship. Now, what to do with the remaining... Um, remaining weight. You give it many bulkheads. Can I push the speed up to 32? No. Yeah, this is decent. Let's uh, see where the secondary guns can be added. Not in a lot of places. At least not the 3-inch guns. Maybe the singles? Nope. How about the 2-inch guns? How about the single barrel 2-inch guns? I can kind of squeeze them in. Thought they could be squeezed in. Like so. Very simple little light cruiser. I am liking this. Condor. Uh, nice name, I guess. Crew quarters. Maybe the in law reason for it having uh, larger crew quarters is that so it can like capture merchant vessels. You know, because it's a light cruiser, it's got to do light cruiser stuff. How about some casemates? Yeah, we can add those. Puts us overweight. How much armor is on those uh, three inch guns? Uh, quite a bit more than you would expect. So 
so I need to save <laughs> five tons. We can save that like this. All right. All right. I'm liking it. Almost wish it was uh, not an enemy ship, but something designed for my own navy. And this time I also remembered to save it. So it didn't uh, get lost. Let's do the uh, scout cruiser. 32 knots. Optimal top speed. This hull is a bit more bumpy. This tower doesn't even fit anywhere. It fits here. Funnels. Forty four per cent. This is looking like a fast ship. How fast can it be made without the weight just uh, exploding? Yeah, 36. That is ludicrously fast for uh, 1918. 35 is a bit more reasonable. Let's make it 34. So this is going to be a very light, light cruiser. We're still gonna go double six inch guns. Or is this a bit too excessive? What about five inch guns? They're too big. No. Just fits. Offset. I didn't mean to do that. But I guess that's a very German thing with light cruisers. Let's not have them offset. Let's add a uh, tiny barbette back here. Now, this is kind of like a destroyer leader. I guess you could call it. Let's have them mounted on the center line. But do they th still fit there if made into 20 inch torpedoes? They do. That's very nice. Now let's see about building the rest of the ship. And this is where that top speed is going to come and uh, bite me. In the back. Uh, 
these are not even excessively armored. Well, I guess the barbettes kind of were. Yeah, we are overweight. Let's ditch these. Still overweight. New plan. New plan. Let's go with six inch guns, but singles. Fine, let's drop the speed down to 32, or... Yeah, I think 32 is the uh, the reasonable maximum for this hull. Which is fair enough, that's exactly what the game told me. Let's make it sleeker. Let's replace the funnels with uh, slightly smaller ones. I still want four of them because I just think it looks good. Alright, tube powder. TNT2. Standard. Standard. So those cap ballistic shells are gonna wreck DDs. The HA shells, I mean. Coincidence, RDF, hydro, anti-submarine stuff. Flash fire chance is 0.8. That is acceptable. It can have a decent main belt, four inches. Uh, the main turrets, six, six, two. So kind of light on the armor. That's what you would expect from a scout cruiser. Almost tempted to uh, remove these uh, six inch guns and add. Three inch. You can have five inch guns as secondaries. I had no idea. I want to add these. Do I want to put like a barbette in the middle? fit. That's too sad. Oh, because I made the ship uh, sleeker, didn't I? Let's 
go with the minus one instead. Can I make them fit? If I push the funnels in closer to one another. Then I can make them fit. Okay, let's do this on the other hump as well. Come on now. How about some other barbets? I'm sure I can find some that fit. Oh yeah, that's much easier. Why didn't I just do that? Save myself a bunch of trouble. There we go. This can be moved closer to that because the 6 inch gun is smaller than the 5 inch gun. So now the torpedo tubes don't clip into the depth uh, charge racks. So, yeah, I think that's kind of cool. Uh, it it kind of looks like a um, early, like World War One era light cruiser that's been refit by removing some of the main guns and adding anti-aircraft guns, which is something that was done. So, uh. Can't go quite that far on range. Can I? Uh, no. But I can increase the crew, like I did with the other one. And yeah, that's... Uh, Can I make the 6 inch guns longer? That broke my displacement, but just by a little bit. Just by a tiny little bit. And I can fix that by just reducing the barbette armor. Okay. Königsberg. Let's keep the name. Save it. Alright. Uh, as for Didi. Oh, yeah, uh, naval arms race. You can keep your torpedo boats. They don't get obsolete. Let's see what the AI comes up with, and um, I can do some fixes on it if needed, if it's too terrible. If it can't be salvaged, then. Uh, 
then I can just design something from scratch. Let's remove those. Let's go to standard beam. The speed is not good for a DD. remove the mine layer and we are pretty much in business it's a lot of torpedoes not a lot of guns uh, no you got some decent 4.4 inch guns and a single 3.3 uh, up in the tower Yeah, I'm not opposed to this. Let's increase that and increase this. So it doesn't uh, like run itself out of fuel when accompanying uh, the battle fleets. I got a little bit of weight to do. Uh, shed like that yeah v1 let's save it and uh, that's it for the uh, the german navy of um, 1918 now i just need to do uh, the rest of the nations aside from uh, my own, which is going to be United States, and then we are in business. Actually, what I also do is uh, just ask if anyone has any shared designs for naval arms race that I can just add into my folder. That could uh, save me a bit of work. So uh, I'll try and do that, and I will see you when. Uh, Either when I make another ship design episode or when I just start the campaign. I'm going to do what I did with my last campaign and um, give the AI some extra tech. Although I've never edited the save file with Naval Arms Race before. I think it should, it should probably be the same. And... Extra tech won't help them with the uh, AI starting fleets, though, because they generate those before um, or while the first save is being generated. So by the time I get to editing, uh, they already have their ships. But yeah, it should give them a uh, a little edge over me in at least the starting years. Anyway, goodbye and take care.